welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So today I'm actually filming this on Easter. So happy Easter, happy late Easter. Okay, so welcome back to my channel if you guys are new are new to my channel. My name is Esmeralda. I do beauty, pretty much beauty related videos. I throw some story times in and out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I pretty much, I like to do videos pretty much about anything. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe um, so you guys can always know whenever I upload new videos. Today's video, I am going to be talking about my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. Um, so I'm kind of an addict when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. There's just something about it. I just, I don't know, I'm like addicted to buying eyeshadow palettes. So we're gonna get right into this before this video is way too long. The first palette that I'm going to mention is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Everybody and their mom pretty much already has this palette, I feel like. And all for a good reason. This is the old one that I have. Um, here are all the shades. I'm sure everybody has seen what this palette looks like inside. It has all of your pretty red mauve. It has all a bunch of shimmer shades. It has your little pop of color on the side. It has your dark color so you can create smoky eyes. So, um, reasoning why this is, like, one of my favorite palettes, I have to say it's probably because of the color selection. I'm very, very, um, I love those mauve, like, wine deep red shades, and this palette has a lot of those shadows. Also, I'm a sucker for a good mix of shimmer and matte shades. I like a lot of shimmer shades because I like to do a pop of color. I like to do the shimmer on my lid and then do matte shades in my crease. So I'm a big sucker for stuff like that and palettes like that. So that's what this is. This literally has everything that I would ever want and need in my life. Morphe is an affordable um, line. I believe this palette is not that much. I want to say it's like... In its 30s or 40s, I want to say, is how much this palette costs, which isn't that bad because the pans are really big, the shadows are really pigmented. You get a lot for your money's worth. Like, this is a big palette. So even if you do spend, like, 40-something dollars, like, it's okay because it's Morphe and they're pigmented and you have a lot of product and it's going to take you a while before you use up every single shadow in this palette. So... So the next one, I'm going to go ahead and get all of the Morphe palettes. These are kind of the more affordable palettes that I'm going to be showing you guys first, and then we'll get into the higher end palettes. So um, I love this palette. This is the 35K from Morphe. And I got this at a makeup seminar. I went to Yvette XO's makeup seminar, and she was giving out this palette um, because she was using this palette to create a smoky eye that we went to go learn how to do. So I like this because this is like literally your basics for every smoky eye. Like you don't need any other palette if you have this one and you want to create a smoky eye. I'm a sucker for um, white eyeshadow because I feel like this makes it really good for the base of when you're doing a really fun look. Um, and then of course the dark shades, you got some shimmers. They're not really shimmers, they're more like, they're a little bit of shimmery. And then of course you have the matte shades. You have a ton of matte shades in this palette. So the next one is a, another Morphe palette. So I have, you know, three out of 10 are gonna be Morphe. It's totally fine, whatever. So this is one of the newer palettes. It has the newer packaging. And this is the 35F palette. The reason I like this palette is because I just gotta show it to you guys. Look at all of those shimmer shades. Honestly, the camera does not do this palette justice. Literally, it's pretty much every single every single shadow in this is almost pretty much shimmery except for the bottom row, which is all of these. And those are the only ones that I need to not be shimmery because, because the ones at the bottom would be the ones that I would end up using in my crease anyways as my matte shades. And then the rest of them, they're like pretty cream shades. Let me zoom. Let me show you guys. Do you see this? Yes. Palette was only 20 something dollars, like in the early 20s. So it was not an expensive palette at all. Morphe to me is a very affordable palette because you get a lot of shades, you guys, a lot of shades. Um, I don't necessarily like the whole Morphe brand as a whole because I think it's a little obnoxious in my opinion. 
um, just with everybody being sponsored by them. They're just, I feel like, up every bigger influencer's butt, and it kind of is annoying to get my 10% cut, you know? But as a brand, it's like as a makeup brand for their makeup, they have good makeup for a really good price. So I cannot deny them that. Palette is um, a BH Cosmetics. So I don't know, I want to say BH Cosmetics cons is considered drugstore because it's on the drugstore side of Ulta, but I'm not sure. This is the Carly Bible um, Deluxe Edition, and you guys knew I had to mention this because... It is so pretty. It has like literally every shade you could need for a natural glam look. So you got highlighters, you got these highlighters, um, and then of course you got some shimmer shades and some matte shades. These are very, very pigmented eyeshadows, and that's obviously what I look for in a good palette. Um, the reason I really like this palette in particular is because it's very pigmented, but I will let you guys know that this palette, it does have fallout so beware of that if you are considering purchasing it and also it has a lot of um like a lot of those matte shades like I just like these natural matte shades like this one I would use that or this one I would use that to prep and prime my eyelid um before I put any shadow kind of as a base shadow I guess and the shimmer shades are more um pinky golden undertones which is just typically what I go towards. Having dark brown eyes, it's just kind of the shades I go for because it brings out my eyes and it makes my eyes look bigger than what they are. So this palette was not very expensive. I want to say that it goes on sale all the time on BH Cosmetics and it ends up being like $18. And the highlighters, you guys, the highlighters are literally everything. You don't really need much you don't need any other eyeshadows or highlighters just by this palette. And then if you go on vacation, just take this palette and you got those both covered. The next thing I want to talk about, I am mentioning a couple of indie brands in this video. I mean, this isn't really indie, but like you can't get it in like any kind of stores yet. So um, the next one is the Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. And I hit pan on this one because this one, like I said, I really like a palette that I can use to prep and prime for my eyelids. So this is the shadow that I use when I am getting ready to set my eye with whatever concealer I had. I need to set it with powder. I use Thanks a Latte in this palette. Um, I just really like, of course, like I said, matte and shimmer shades. I need to go to mix of both. And it also, the sh the matte shades are actually really pretty, like, dark, but kind of red undertone browns. I like the shade Hashtag, which is this orange shade. I create so many pretty, like, sunset kind of vibes kind of look with it. And then, of course, you cannot forget Wine and Dine. So my three favorite pa um, shadows in this palette are Wine and Dine, Teddy Bear, and hashtag and then of course thanks a latte but that one's kind of a matte shade because it doesn't really have any pigmentation you can use like a setting powder but I use shadows it's always a plus one I already have it in the palette so I don't have to like look for anything else and this palette I want to say is like 40 something dollars so it is a little bit on the pricier ish side I guess um depending on what your budget is and like what you think is affordable um but the shadows are super, super pigmented in this palette as well, as they're a pretty decent size for what you're getting. And then, of course, um, they're just super pigmented, like Tofi. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, girl, on the lid. It just is a blinding gold shade. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, and next, we are going to be talking about um, Juvia's Place. This is if I'm looking for a little, you know, I need some color on my eyes. I need to do, like, a crazy colorful look. Then I gravitate towards this palette. This is the Masquerade Mini. So I got the little one. It still was a good price. This palette, you guys, Juvia's Place always goes on sale. So you can always find their palettes for a lower price. This is the palette, as you can tell. You still have, it reminds me a lot of the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe, but I don't know, it's different. I like these kind of colors, you know, all these colors just speak to me. They're the kind of colors I would use um, on the daily, I think, like the browns and the gold shades and everything. But um, love those pop of colors the pink is literally to die for the only thing about these is like that pink shade 
if they're the only one in this palette, actually stains my eyelid, but the rest of them don't. Most of the colorful shades, like the pops of color, are shimmer shades in this palette, which is something I really like as well. So that's a really good palette. Um, I have yet to order more palettes from them. They have, like, their pigmentation is really good. You can, like, so much goes a long way. It's like it's one of those brands that's kind of like, um, it needs to be bigger than I think what it is. I think it should be, you know, sold in stores and stuff, so. So we're gonna do one more little palette for those pop of colors. So this is gonna be definitely a higher end brand. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. It's so cute, it's so little. Okay, so when I first saw this on Sephora online, I literally thought it was gonna be like this one, but it's not, it's a baby. It's perfect for those shades of color, you know, pops of color. You really want a fun, smoky eye. This is the palette for you. So the colors that I want to tell you guys that I really like in this palette, of course, I feel like everybody has these like blue colors, but I really, really, really like is the yellow and the orange. Like I said, these shades are super pigmented and they create beautiful looks. I really want to do like a red smoky eye. I don't know, would you guys want to see something like that? But yeah, it has a red in this palette too. It's super cute. It has a mirror, which you guys know I love mirrors. And this little bad boy was pretty pricey. I want to say it was like $28. It only comes with nine shadows. So to me, that's pricey. But I mean, if you divide nine by 28, I guess it's not that bad. But it sounds more bad because you can get bigger palettes for you know, less price. The Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the self-made palette, which I have to mention it because if you got your hands on it, you're the real MVP. I think it was a limited edition palette, but it's just such a pretty palette. It's just, it has, you know, my matte shade that I'm obsessed with, has that little purple that I like, and I really like pink champagne. It's probably the most loved shadow in this palette. Um, yeah, it's just a really good palette. I got to mention our two babies. Everybody loves these two palettes. ABH can do no wrong. So, of course, the Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette, okay? There's no explanation needed. This palette is amazing. Look at all these shades. Everybody and their mom has this palette. So, I'm not really going to even talk about it because I feel like everybody's seen what it looks like. Everybody knows why they love it. It's not that bad of a price. It's like, what, $42 for ABH, and I'm not mad at it mention my newest edition that I created today's eye look with. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to do this eye look, it was super, super easy. I don't know why I didn't film it, but I will recreate it and film it for you guys if you want. So yeah, this is a soft glam palette, literally the easiest thing. This palette is just so pretty. Okay, so these two shades are my favorite. Like I said, I'm addicted to the shimmer shades. So, um, yes, so, um, I will be having that palette, the Soft Glam ABH one, in my next giveaway. Okay, so if you guys are not aware, um, the giveaway that I have been up to doing is going to be over April 4th, so it is going to be ending in just a couple of more days. I'm super, super excited. Um, so yes, if you haven't seen it, check out my giveaway video over it and how to enter and all of that good stuff so you guys can definitely enter it before it is, um, out. Okay, so this one is going to go to Steph underscore XOXO and she said, I enjoyed so much when you do story times. Girl, you should do it more often with a heart emoji and then hashtag notification squad. So thank you so much Steph for having my post notifications on and girl, you know I'll be doing more story times really, really soon. But anyways, that is the end. Um, if you guys wanna know how you guys can get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn the little bell on, and once it is on, then just go down below to the comments and then write whatever comment you want and then hashtag notification squad. And that is pretty much it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.